Hi everybody. I've opened up a terminal window and I also downloaded the Volterra.ode file from Blackboard. So I'm going to try to start this similar in a similar way to how I would do it on a Linux machine uh, in the lab. And so what I want to do is I want to go to my desktop directory um, so that um, I'm in the same place where this ODE file is and where I can save um, other files. So first, uh, this is the directory that I'll be in when um, I open up a terminal. If I do ls, type ls for, um, to, to list all my directories, I can see what's there. And I see the desktop directory, so I'm going to type cd for change directory and then desktop. And that will take me to the desktop directory. And now if I type ls, I see the files that are on my desktop, and one of them is this volterra.ode file. So now I'm ready to start XPP. So I type XPPAUT, and I type the file name, and it will start up. OK, so this is XPP running the uh, information that's in this ODE file. Now here are some of the things that I showed you in class. If I click in this window and then do initial conditions, go, it'll run the model with the default initial conditions and default parameters and everything. And this little black line up here shows me that it has run and finished. I can't see anything because my window isn't um, well formatted. So if I go here to x versus t and say plot x, I hit return, it will um, make a window that has from 0 to whatever the maximum time is, and it will go from the minimum value of x during that time to the maximum value of x during that time. So it will automatically format the window for me. That's one thing I can do. Now remember, up here, I can click and get a window that allows me to change my initial conditions. Or, for example, I can click here and get another window that allows me to change my parameters. I can click and get a window that shows me what my equations are. These are all things that can be helpful. So you might want to open all, up all these things as you're uh, running some uh, simulations. All right, let's suppose I want to do a phase plane. I'm going to make, I could do it here, but I'm just going to make another window to make it easier. So I create a window. Here's the window that I just made, and I'm going to use this window for my phase plane. So I click in this window, and I want to change the axes. I'm going to choose, um, sorry, I choose view axes here and 2D. And here's a window that helps me change things. So here's I'm going to make this my x-axis is the x variable, y-axis is the y variable. I'm going to have it go from minus 1 in x and y, sorry, and y. And uh, the maximum value, it'll go from minus 1 to 20. And y also will go from minus 1 to 20. Then my x label is x, my y label is y, and all should be set. There we go. And this is showing the last solution that I computed um, in the phase plane. All right, if I want to get rid of that before I do my null clines and my steady states and stuff, I can click on this window, and then I can say erase, restore. Erase, click on restore. Another way I can do this, I can click in the window, I can type E or R, E or R. And that will um, get rid of or replot the last solution. All right, so here's my face plane window. Now I go here and I click on null clines. So I have to click in the window first to get access to that window. Then when I click on null clines, I get this new little um, menu. Click on new, it has plotted my null clines. And um, then I want to do my uh, steady states or singular points. So I'm going to click here. Again, click in the window and then click to get that, that singular points. And I'm going to use the mouse. So I click on mouse. 
I get this window here that says click on guess. So go to this window, click on it, and then click on the guess. All right, then it says print eigenvalues, yeah. And here are my eigenvalues. Okay, uh, I can do the same thing for this steady state. I'll just start over, mouse, click on guess, print eigenvalues, sure, draw invariant sets, yes. It's just warning me about something that happens with the numerics, which aren't really that important right now. And then it's showing me that this, um, this steady state is a saddle with one positive real eigenvalue and one negative real eigenvalue. All right, another thing I might want to do in the phase plane is plot solutions. And so I can go to initial conditions, um, mice, and click on different possible initial conditions and see what I get. All right, so these are some different solutions. And then when I'm done, it says escape to quit. So I hit escape. Now one thing, you know, maybe I'll mention now, we can talk about this more in class, is that this singular point here, um, I've actually uh, computed the eigenvalues a couple of times. One time it came up that it was stable, one time that it was unstable. And so in class we can talk about why we might be getting different results from FPP when we click on the solutions to this, uh, uh, when I ask for the eigenvalues for this steady state. And the hint is that I talked about this already in class about um, what happens when you have a center. We have these um, sort of periodic solutions around this steady state and there's something about that that's kind of special. All right, but that's just an aside. What else might we want to do here? Well, so I showed you how to um, change the initial conditions doing using the mouse, but you can also change the initial conditions in this window. For instance, let's say I want to do um, x is 10, y is um, I don't know, um, 14 say, I hit OK, I can go down here and hit Erase, get rid of all the other stuff that I already have, and then um, I can recompute a solution. So I click on Initial Conditions, and I click on Go, and it'll use whatever the latest initial um, conditions are. So there's that solution. Um, I can also change the parameters here, so I'm actually changing my system fundamentally and I could get vastly different solutions in this window if I use different values for A, B, C, and D. Um, another thing I can do is I can change the numerics. So one thing I showed you is that in this file, this ODE file, this value of total here sets the default for how, uh, so what the largest value of time will be, you know, what the simulation is going to run for. It goes from zero to, from t is zero to t is 100. I can change that by changing total. So I click on total. Let's say I want to change it to 200. Type in 200, hit return. It's set at 200, but now I need to go back to my previous menu and run the simulation again. I'm in the numerics menu right now. To go back to the previous menu, I hit Escape. I actually had to hit it twice. And then I um, uh, go back to this menu. And if something comes up that's not what I wanted, I just hit Escape again. All right, so I want to um, uh, rerun this with this new total. So I go Initial Conditions, Go. It runs it, but it's still only showing from 0 to 100 because it hasn't changed the window. So if I go back and do this x versus t again, it will rescale the window to show me all of the time points that I used in my simulation. Okay, that's probably good for now. Um, you know, one last thing is if you um, 
want to save data that you generate with this, you can click on the data viewer and you can write the data to a file. Here's this file that showed up. Um, another thing I can do is if I've changed my parameters and you know something cool happened and I don't want to have to write down all those changes, I can um, go to File and then Write Set. Um, and it'll give it the name volterra.ode.set, that's the default. And um, that file will have, here it is over here, that file will have um, the information about the parameters. If you click on it, it's, um, uh, if you look at the text in there, it's not very helpful. But if I start up XPP again, I can go to File, and I can, instead of writing a set, I can read that set, volterra.ode.set, and it will set the parameters and the initial conditions and whatever to whatever was saved in that set. So whatever I changed when I was running this, change the numerics, all of that, it's saved in this set. All right, to, to stop, I say file, quit, are you sure? Yes, and I'm all set.